What's going on, y'all? Change of plan. Look, I'm not cooking those crab cakes tonight. Nor that corn pudding. Nor those mashed potatoes. Because, uh, got somebody coming to town that said, hold on, wait. They told me, hold up, wait a minute, let me get that crab cake, please. <laughs> I want that crab cake, so I ain't making that till tomorrow. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna make dessert today. I'm gonna make some banana pudding. That's what I'm gonna do instead. How y'all doing? What's going on, y'all? What we got in here? What we got? What we got in the cold parks? What's going on? I see you watch what you're looking at. What's happening? I know y'all been waiting for this too because I've been, I told y'all I was going to make the banana pudding. I don't think y'all keep seeing that little reel going by me. Keep doing like this. Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> oh, my bad. Should be talking about that right now. Uh, wrong song choice. <laughs> I need to go back and change that reel. They at the dang diddy or dang dummy, <laughs> whatever his name is. They at them. I need to change my song. What's up, Kendra Jones? Uh, Sharon uh, Hines, hello. Wendy Blackman is watching. I see you watching what you look at yourself. Tanetta Roberts, hello. Emily Thomas, hello. What's going on? You became a subscriber. That's what's up. I've never seen your subscriber badge on your page before. Karen Slade, hello. Uh, Tana um, Fornery, hello. Laverne Thomas, what's going on? All right, let's get to it. Easy peasy. Uh, now, look, when one thing is, I am not making the um the meringue i'm not doing that i'm not gonna bake it i'm just gonna make it cold put some cookies on top the cool whip put some cool whip on top and call it a day now i can't make a meringue i can't do that but we ain't doing that okay i ain't even gonna put it in the oven to bake it today i'm making a cold just a plain cold banana pudding but i am making my custom from scratch all right let's get into this it's really quick well it's not real quick you know it's take a process for this anyway Okay. separating our eggs so i'm gonna double this recipe i'm gonna double the recipe so i'm gonna do this twice so for original recipe it calls for three egg yolks three egg yolks three quarter cups of sugar one third cup of um of flour a dash of salt half a teaspoon of vanilla easy peasy right but of course i'm gonna change some things i'm not gonna do it all the same way i just said that because i gotta change it Cause it's me <laughs> and i'm not doing a double boiler i don't do that how my grandmother used to do it my grandma used to do a double boiler and be on that stove in that steam boiling two pots on the stove boiling at the same time we ain't doing that no mm -mm. put just give you get yourself a heavy bottom pot make sure your pot is have a very heavy bottom make sure it's not one of the thin Fiber wells. You do not want a fiber well. You do not want one of those. Uh, do not want one of those pots from from Walmart's. Uh, 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 family dollars, Dollar Generals. You need a heavy bottom pot. Okay. And you don't have to do the double boiler. Let's separate our eggs. It's an egg separate over there, but take too long. The old fashioned way. Trying to pinch the thing off now. Pop the yolk. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get the embryo off. I don't like that little that little white little piece on there. I think a lot of people like the little white piece that be on the eggs, but sometimes you'll pop your egg if you pull it, pull at it too much.
So I'll get it off in a minute. that one. Sometimes you can catch it between the folds of your fingers, but you know, or just or come off like that one just did. All right, so for my milk choice, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use some evaporated milk and cream. That's what my grandmother taught me to use. Some people you can use milk if you would like to, but it tastes better when you use. Some people like using when they don't make it um, homemade or from scratch. They use condensed milk. But if you use condensed milk, of course, you got to cut the sugar or you don't add no sugar at all because condensed milk is very sweet. I can't open that. I know. Oh, there it is. So you need So we're gonna need um, four cups of milk. So we need four cups of milk. Milk or cream, either or, like I said, if you're using, I'm using. I should have bigger bowl from the get go. Now I gotta transfer my eggs in here. <laughs> That's a house I know you're like, why are you putting the silver bowl back there? I need the silver bowl. So I need a large bowl. Like I said, we're doubling this recipe. So the first two cups. Yeah, I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna So about a cup of cream, three cups of Three cups of um, evaporated milk. Let 
make sure it's level. Should be. Yeah, it is. All right. That's your eggs and your um your milk together. Let me get a whisk. This is the, probably the lengthiest process of this, of course, is making the custard. All right, now you got that mixed. You're gonna go and mix your flour and your sugar together. You wanna mix the sugar and flour together because um, when you're adding it to it, it's, it's just, I think the flour coats the sugar so it doesn't uh, clump up on you. Originally one um, one recipe calls for one third cup, so I'm doing two. I'm gonna do two thirds cup of um, flour. It could be all purpose, self rising, either or. So, I'm gonna add my sugar. It's called three quarters of a cup, so we're gonna do one and a half cup of sugar. Yeah, I put a heap in. Yeah, I put a heap in thing of sugar in there. I sure did. <laughs> and then a the half, okay. Gonna add in a pinch of salt. You need salt in your banana pudding. You do, okay? It balances the flavor. Trust me, you need some salt. Like it's, it's missing something. Salt. That's what it's missing. Salt. <laughs> you got all that sugar in there. Nothing to balance that salt. All right, let's go on over to the stove. And now this the lengthy process of it. It's actually making the custard, but I found it a nice trick, a nice way to to cut that time in a little half. I said normally be a double boiler going on. I've been on. I'm here to dance a pot too. Normally I've been on. Um, had a pot of water on boiling. Used to. I don't do that no more. I used to. Love you, Grandma. <laughs> I don't do that no more. <laughs> too much work. <laughs> but this way right here, you got to be careful. You got to be very, 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 very extremely. Extremely careful. Go ahead and mix your own um, flour and sugar. You gotta be extremely, extremely careful. Because it will burn. So just turn the stove on a, one of the low settings. And you just want to get this hot. And make sure you try to beat up all the, all the little lumps in there. I don't know if y'all remember, I made, the, I made um, banana pudding in the, in the BAP, in the big ass pot. <laughs> For those that don't know what a, what a BAP is. The big ass pot I made it in, and I was stirring for hours. I think I did it for um for Thanksgiving. I did it for, 
Thanksgiving or Christmas. I don't know if you guys remember that. <laughs> so it can be done in any pot, but long as, like I said, the pot has to be a heavy bottom pot. This is a thick pot. And that's what you want. And so you're just going to wait till this heat up. And you have to constantly stir it. You have to constantly stir it because you don't want to stick to the bottom. All right. At the same time, I'm going to add in my little, my little, uh, not secret, but some people know, some people know about this. Some people do. I'm going to make back a little cream, a little cream. I'm going to add a little, I'm going to add a little cornstarch. It's going to help tighten it up fast. <laughs> a little bit of cornstarch. Don't add too much to get chalky. So almost like a, almost like a, a tablespoon of cornstarch. You don't want it to taste chalky. So I added a little bit more cream to it. And about a teaspoon of cornstarch, because it will taste chalky if you add too much, but it will help tighten your um your banana pudding fast. Trust me. It, it, cuts, it cuts the time in half. So add a little cornstarch to it to make your custard. Teaspoon. I need, I need it. <laughs> Come here. Get a little more milk to it. Just to get the rest of my the rest of my cornstarch. How many people knew that? Huh? <laughs> How many people knew that? I see a lot didn't know that. Cause a lot of people, a lot of people don't even make it this way. A lot of people that y'all go straight to that box, boy. Y'all box champions, boy. <laughs> Bill Cosby, Mr. Jello, put pop in me cover, you know. <laughs> That's the way uh Dawn like to make Dawn make it that way. She make it with the ice box called Gourmet. Gourmet ice box. Yeah. I'm used to making it this way. I mean, at least make my custard myself. And the crazy thing is, I'm, I, if I do eat banana pudding, I eat it one day, the first day. After it gets cold, I don't want it. After it gets cold, I don't want it. I don't know who else, who else like that. You gotta have it on the same day. Can't eat it after. After this, after the witch card, who else like that? Don't <laughs> don't tell somebody you call me out. <laughs> they call you out. That what you do? You from the north? You know that's that's a northern 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 thing. You know. <laughs> It's a northern thing. Hey, Barbara, well, she's, she's, she's look, see, Barbara, she ain't shame her game. She tell us some yes, putting in the box. <laughs> but that's the way people learn how to do it. If you learn how to make it that way, that's 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 how you learn how to make it. Know what I mean, it's no if you make know how to make it, learn how to make it good though. Know what I mean? So. And I've had some that was made from the boxes pretty good. I'm just not accustomed to it. You know what I mean? So that's the way I learned. I learned how to do it this way. And I actually, I changed it. I changed it um, by doing it this way. My grandma would have a fit. She'd see me doing this, 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 um, this custard this way. She'd have a fit. What would you know? Make a put No, you ain't. <laughs> she'll, she'll tell me, no, you ain't. <laughs> ain't how I showed you. You know, put that pot on that water, you would burn because you, you, you're afraid of scorching your custard. That's what you don't want to use. It's like, so all your hard work, your sugar, all your ingredients got to go in the garbage because it's not going to be good. So that's the fear of wasting the ingredients, too. That's why you want to have the double boil on there. 
And you can see I have the wooden spoon as well. I'm going back and forth to the bottom, make sure it's not sticking at all. And it's not much doing anything yet, but it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do what it's do. And it's gonna happen quick, as soon as it heat up. And mind you, this dog, the, my cream was cold. If I just took everything straight out, uh, if I just used cans of milk, if I just used cans of milk, it would have um, been hot already. And we see it, starting to see it, to doing what it need to do. See that? Yeah. Keep, your, keep your wooden spoon that has a flat bottom to work with as well. Not just your whisk. Because um, the eggs will start to stick to the bottom. You see it? They'll start to stick to the bottom. You don't want that. Well, yeah, you don't want that. That's, that's where the scorch come from. Which makes you move that spoon along that bottom every once in a while. You'll be fine. I can't look at the comments, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to read comments at the same time. I peek it around. I can't. I can see some. I see somebody in there scamming, but I can't get to them because I, I got to pay attention to this. And ain't no one to come on my page. You know, I ain't when I ain't paying attention. Hey, Donella. I see you. I see your name. Can you see everything you say? I see the top of your name. If you could you imagine having a double boiler heat sitting here and you're doing the same thing right now? Oh man, you'd be all day long. My grandma had um four arms like pop out of cellar, man. All them dang on baby shoes to do. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I see you. At that bottom boy. And I know y'all probably wonder why didn't you add the, don't never add your vanilla until the end. Add your vanilla flavoring at the end because that also cooks and it, it changes the flavor inside of it. Now, some people like using vanilla bean in it as well, but you still, um, it will change, it change the flavor inside of it. When the vanilla cooks, it changes the flavor. So always add it in. Also give you your custard, it, it cooks your custard a darker color. So you want to keep it as light and bright as color um as, po as possible. Otherwise, it's not gonna change. It's not gonna um, it's not gonna really affect it as much, but it will alter the flavor a little bit. And of course, I can set the color, but it won't be it won't be nasty. So if you made a mistake and done it before, of course, it's not gonna be nasty. I'm just giving you the reason behind never to add it to it. Oh, it's way more comments than that. I don't know why I stopped on Danella. Um, it just stopped. It was moving at first and it stopped. Uh-oh, here we go. I feel it. There we go. See, so you, you can feel it in your own, um, in the whisk. You turn your heat down. Because it's going to happen real fast. Once, once you get to that point of um, the heat that it needs to be at to start to, um, can you see it? See the start of change? Wait. 
don't get there. Banana put was in the hood then. Like I said, so normally this would take a longer period of time if I just didn't if I didn't add that cornstarch to it, it takes a long period of time to get to this point right here. And this this actually took a little more than 10 minutes. <coughs> so please share. Gave you my little secret. <laughs> Look at it. We almost there, y'all. Yeah, the pot over here tap dancing. <laughs> the dancing pot, that's what they call your pot shell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that thing be over there getting it. <laughs> the, pot, the pot be over there twerking, man. <laughs> there we go. Look at it. Mm-mm-mm. Pudding, baby. I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more. It's nice, silky smooth. I'm going to add a pat, I'm, I'm gonna add a pat of butter to this. Look at that put. Look at that put. Look at that put. <laughs> I showed y'all a simplified way to make banana pudding. You don't have to deal with that stove too for forever. Simplified. And delicious. Homemade. Take a small pat of butter and add to this. Just want one little pat of butter, but I'm gonna cut it so it won't take too long for it to melt in. Mm-hmm. 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 So I took something that my grandmother had showed me and I turned and I put them made it my own way. And taste makes sure I have sugar in it. the sugar but I'm gonna add a tinch more there's a pinch just a little bit more I know everybody you love my chicken I, I like it like this you need there's no sugar mm -hmm. All right, so I add a little bit more sugar to it and there you go we got perfect custard I want y'all to look at this custard there's no lumps in it Bellissimo. All right, let's build this uh, natural pudding.
I'm coming, y'all. Hold on. I'm cleaning my face off over here. That's it, so I am gonna add cool whip, but I'm gonna do it in another manner as well. <laughs> at that banana protein. All right, so I got two cookies. I got, of course, you can't make banana. You can't make nana pudding without these. Can't make without it. I don't care if you do ask the chestnut too. Oh, oh my God, thank you guys for the stars. Y'all had a whole star party going on the whole time. I had to keep my eyes on the prize. Thank you guys. I thank you guys um, individually as soon as I finish, okay? Uh, Nilla wafers. You can't make nana pudding without the Nilla wafers. Okay. Do all you want to, but you, I don't care if you add the chestnut on top. But you gotta add these. Up. You need these guys right here. Man, I gotta eat one. You gotta taste it. Make sure you taste the same. <laughs> Old school style nana pudding. Well, it's not old school style because I ain't, I didn't do the meringue. I'm eating those egg whites though. I'm gonna eat those egg whites though. I'm gonna eat them in the morning. I eat them for breakfast. So don't worry about those egg whites. I'm gonna eat them. Now back, I will make a meringue. It's not they ain't got time for that. It's just I don't feel like baking. I don't feel like baking the the um, banana pudding so. Because I feel, for me, like, it does get um a little mush. It get mushy quicker. But it tastes better, though. It does taste better. I, I think the cookies just melts together with the with the, with the the cream and everything and stuff. I, it, it does taste better. on the bottom. Okay, a little bit more banana. 
and then I put the custard in, then I do a cookie layer. Cause mind you, I do have the chessmen. I got chessmen cookies too. So that's why you like. We need more cookies, chef, chef. Put no cookies in it. Put some no cookies, chef. <laughs> I hear y'all. I do. I do hear y'all. <laughs> And if your um, custard you start to congeal a little bit, you can always add just add a, a little bit more cream to it, and that'll help loosen it until you get it to your pan. And let it do what it do. Oh, shoot. come on back here. <laughs> I had, to, I had to add a little cream to it, but, but come here. Let me, let me, I didn't, hold on a second, y'all. <laughs> hold on a second. I caught myself. I did. I caught myself. <laughs> I did. It's supposed to, a teaspoon, or a half a teaspoon for a recipe, so three eggs, three egg yolks, Half a teaspoon, three quarter cups of sugar, third of a cup of um, flour, two cups of milk. So, and it's a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I also had a pat of butter. Tell them I'm in my seat. A little bit. Banana extract. And you add both your extracts at the end. Okay, okay, let's go. All right, because I, I almost forgot about it. <laughs> it happens. Players mess up too. There it is. Oh, the place. But you taste chill, it tastes completely different. <laughs> <laughs> You just had to put me, I've got to put the vanilla in the uh, aspect in it. Watch, look at there, look at there, look at there, look at there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I said it tastes. I said it tastes completely different from what you tasted. <laughs> and I want to show y'all the bottom of my pot. Look, look at the bottom of my pot. No burn. It's not even sticking. Look at it. Perfect. So what you want to do is you want to save a little bit of your custard. Okay? And you're going to mix it with your Cool Whip. You're going to whip that in with your Cool Whip. Not a lot. You just want to save some. And you're going to whip the Cool Whip with the um, custard. So you want to save about that, that much. Okay? I'm gonna whip that with the cool whip. Bring on the cookie chef, chef! Bring the cookies on. Oh, oh, just right, because Easter is this Sunday. These are on sale at Publix. Buy two for seven. They're on sale. Another way for on sale at Publix. Buy two for seven. Got to tell y'all that. I only got one, though, because I was knowing I was making this a little one pan. But they're on sale. Flour is on sale. Pillsbury flour and self-rising. The five-pound bag is on sale. Buy one, get one. I paid five eleven for two bags of five pound bags of flour. But I won't get one. I know y'all like I'm tired of hearing about chewing this damn Publix. We ain't got one up here, chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just doing one more banana for decoration. I got enough down at the bottom. Nobody want all those bananas. Nobody want all those bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Take the, I'm using the same pot and make a sense of me doing a whole other thing, right? Hey, cool whip. I could have made my own. I could have. But this last bell, I could have made my own. I could have made my own whipped cream. I could have, but why? These buy one get one too. <laughs> no, buy, buy two, buy two for four dollars. <laughs> so bags buy, buy one get one. They don't sell too. Whip that in here. Mm-hmm. It's going to, it breaks it down a little bit, but once you put it back to the refrigerator, it's going to form back. So almost on like a, a um, marshmallow top, <laughs> but it's just cool whipping the, in the pudding itself. So your cool whip don't taste plain and it gives a a better taste. And it, look, even the color looks different. Alright, and we set 
this side for a second. Pull this back here. Throw this down. I'm sorry, you're a dang on a mosquito. Came in from the window. <laughs> what is that? He over here singing too. All right, a little more banana. I guess I do one more. I guess, I guess I do one more. So I got a lot of stuff I'm cooking tomorrow. I'm doing kunk fritters, kunk salad, crab cakes. <laughs> Big Red says she wanted it all. <laughs> I'm tired of you on this dang old TV. <laughs> <laughs> I want some of that good food. I said, I keep, she said, I keep missing the brunch, so I'm coming. <laughs> Man, that thing good. Let me tell you something. What well, did right here? I hope I got enough. Let's see if I can smooth it out. Mm -mm. I do got two containers in there too. I should have I should have bust open one and a half, but hopefully I make it. I didn't want to. I should yeah, make it. Yeah, I make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. If it don't, it's okay. I'm not selling. I'm, I'm not. It's not for nobody. It's just for the house. Right, but I want y'all guys to get the drift. So you probably need for this size. You probably need one and a half container of the Cool Whip. Okay. I want you guys to know that you're gonna need one and a half container. So I think I the last time I did I did it, I think I used the the large container. That's why I had enough. Yeah. So you want to use the um either one large container or two of the small containers. But like I said, we're gonna make it work today. So I'll be live all day tomorrow, y'all. Oh Lord. And watch me hands, because y'all know I lick my fingers. <laughs> Being honest, you know I did. <clears throat> I will not letting all that edge go to waste. All that edge. What we want to let that edge go to waste for? I use a napkin now. I'll be professional, okay? <laughs> all right, now let's get our other cookies. Yes, we got more cookies. And they got the spring edition, so you know it's, it's um for the spring edition. See it, spring. Wait, let me take it back. Spring shapes, so it has like little flowers and things and stuff. And it's not the oh, it's, it's still the chessmen, but it's just not. It's just not um the the chess um chessmen actually on it. It's still the brand. That we all know and love. And so yeah, got a little sun disc on there. A little watering pot for flowers. Got a little garden house. Oh shoot. Dang it, I missed.
messed up. Look, I got, I, you can eat. Come here. Come here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> I got to taste it. Make sure it tastes the same. <laughs> you know, when they change the, uh, the decoration, sometimes it, the flavor changing, okay? We're going to stick to that line. We're going we gonna, to we gonna hold fast to it. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, uh, a rose. And if I need to, I'll slide them on me. I'm trying to make sure I have enough to go all the way down. I think I do. Oops. I could pull them down like this. How about we do that? Because it'll look awkward if I don't do it like this. So let's do it like this. Okay. And that, that took, I still got this much left. And there you have it. Nano pudding. And I made that. How fast? How fast was that? How long was I on live? How long was I on live? <laughs> I don't even know. But it wasn't long. It was not long at all. There's your banana pudding. Easter is here. <laughs> this is George Joyce said, I'm laughing like a mad evil scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I do sound like one when I laugh sometimes. Somebody said I sound like Count Dracula, when, especially when I laugh out loud. <laughs> it is. It's Polissimo. Think of that. Perfection. They said perfection. Perfection. Laverne Thomas, thank you. Uh, Virgie um, Conrad is watching. I see you watching with your, with your look yourself. Uh, Stephanie Gibson said, Great job as always, Chef. Thank you. All right, clip back on me. Yeah, so I didn't cut my hair. I wanted to have the whole little rocking my beef boy fresh style. You know what I mean? I wanted to have all that stuff, and I didn't get a chance to do nothing. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so I'll do that AM. I'm going to go cut my hair right now. So tomorrow, I'll next I'll be live all day tomorrow. Just look out for um, the, the apparel tomorrow. I wanted to cut my hair today. I should get a chance to do it. Um, so I'm going to cut it tonight. Um, so I'll be fresh, ready to go in the morning. Like I said, I'll be alive all day tomorrow. Come join in. Like I said, please share the live on how to make this amazing banana pudding. When I tell you guys it's amazing, it's amazing. You guys, are, look, I'm just not fronting. I don't really like banana pudding like that, but I'm telling you, it's delicious. <laughs> it is. It's scrumptious. And when you use two words together, when you use two adjectives in the same sentence to describe something, you know you got to be saying something. When you say scrumptious and delicious at the same time, those are two adjectives. Uh, yeah, that means it's actually very, very good. <laughs> mm. Mm. I can just eat the Cool Whip and the cream inside the pot by itself. I, I can eat that. They just like ice cream. That's good. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I think everybody was going to sit stars and stuff. Mm, nine o'clock. Sheldon Barnes, thank you for the stars. Thank you, babe. Thank you for the stars, Dom and Shelly. I saw you sent a lot of stars. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I said, You the man. Thank you. Constance Martin Presley, thank you for the stars, Auntie. Mm. That's it. Okay. Thank you for the stars and y'all in the star party. I think appreciate you guys. Um, uh, Michelle Cooper, like not guys, you gals. Um, hey, Michelle Cooper, I ain't see you in here. Um, Jenny, um, may you say I wish it has a nana pudding. That's nana pudding. It's like it's not my granny's all the way. It's not my grandma's all the way. 
but that's the flavor the flavor of it is it's delicious y'all gotta try it make sure you guys share this live and share it and save it so you guys can have it because i don't know i'm gonna do this again It's like a heartbeat, just like that. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> Stop teasing us, chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, like I said, thank you guys for stars. Thank you guys for the shares. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for coming on to the live. Thank you guys for staying, stay on, uh, staying on with me and, and learning how to make banana pudding. I've been showing you guys for the longest. Oh, I'll tell you guys for the longest. Like I said, I showed to you guys before, but I, I do have a whole nother unslow of people that watch me now so uh i think i made that when i probably only had fifty thousand followers now i got we had one hundred seventy five thousand followers we hit that today at this morning well this morning thank you guys again for continuing to support the page and the smack and family we do appreciate you guys for the top and bottom i hope complete hearts Thank you so much. And to infinity and beyond, we try to get, let's get to that million status. Let's get to the million. Let's hit the milli, one milli, one milli, one milli. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get, get, get it. I know we can do it. It's only been three years. And like I said, I haven't been on consistently how I know it should be and everything and stuff, but we getting better at it. <laughs> so I will see you guys all tomorrow. Tomorrow's a long day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just look for me and stuff. Like I said, I don't want I want to do the apparel thing and stuff because I got to do it right. Can't do it right. I won't do it at all. So um, I want to at least look at the part when I come with look the outfit on and everything and stuff. So and I feel like this right here, like an old man got, got lint in my beard and stuff. This actually my gray hair. <laughs> like I got lint in my beard. But uh, yeah, when I'm fresh, fresh and clean, I, I will go ahead and do that tomorrow. All right. Love you guys. You have a blessed night. Try banana pudding. Yeah. Good night. Peace.